Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I'm out here at the Willamette River, and I'm doing a video response for John Watling. Uh, he asked me to, in a conversation we were having online about Helen Caldecott, and um, I was telling him, I think that Kevin's wrong. I don't think he Helen's all about the money. I think she's just burnt out. She's been telling us for 40 years. But you know, I guess this is my response to Helen. You know, your work, your life work of being effective is going to be for naught if you don't speak up right now and get us to pay attention, get the world powers to pay attention to fucking Fukushima. I just watched your video again, which I saw a long time ago, about, um, what was it that, what's it called, If You Love This Planet, and you were doing a presentation in front of a group of young students. And you were telling them about how you met Reagan and how after you met Reagan, he met with Gorbachev and then they took the nuclear deals off the table and how, I mean, essentially what you were saying is that we can make a difference. But guess what? None of that's going to fucking matter if you let Fukushima destroy the fucking planet. And I'm sorry to use harsh words, but really, that is really the issue. Uh, you know, you did this symposium on nuclear war. I do not understand how the scientists do not under comprehend. How can you comprehend that three nuclear meltdowns in complete meltdown? Three meltdowns going on four years now and counting and still counting. And as we're counting, the lies are coming unfolded. We're finding out 70,000 times more plutonium. Was it billions times more strontium? Tritium, fucking words I didn't even know existed two years ago. You know, where are the scientists? Where are the people that need to be calling out people? You know, in that, in that little video, you said how you got a million people in the streets in New York City to stop nuclear. What do you think is happening right now, folks? We are being silently, slowly poisoned. The people of Japan, basically, they're being genocided by their own governors. So I am going to do a video. I am going to do some research. I am going to make an effort to reach out to the Helen Caldecott Foundation. You know, it may not come quickly because this is my busy season at work. I start school next week. I'm super busy. I'm helping Kevin finish up the consciousness walk. I mean, maybe someone else out there can pick up that mantle and be in touch with Helen Caldecott and say, Hey, uh, how come you don't think Fukushima is such a big, important deal that we need to be rallying up the troops and getting a million people in the street to make the world understand that this is a global event? I mean, right now we're not testing the salmon in the Northwest. We're try they're trying to convince us that the, the cesium inside of tuna, yes, they tested 100%, but don't worry, it's not going to hurt you. They're now on this campaign to try to teach us all that radiation isn't really that harmful. Really? Go tell that to the doctor who killed all the baby, the baby puppies that Dana discovered. Stupid fucker out of Carlsbad, New Mexico. Radiation kills people. It does not sustain life. Man-made plutonium, uranium, is the worst product that has ever been dug up and used in the history of modern man since we have our known history. So, this is just a shout out. And you know, this goes to Beyond Nuclear, Helen Caldecott, Greenpeace, Arnie Gunderson. You know, Kevin's pissed off. He says, you know, you guys won't come out unless you get paid. Really? That's the only reason you're gonna come out? How much fucking money do you need? Guess what? Money isn't gonna mean jack shit. It's not about the money. It's about this. It's about what I'm showing you on this video. It's about destroying this. While it looks beautiful, we keep letting Fukushima go in five years. There is going to be not one fish in this fucking river that's edible. In fact, it's barely edible now with the contamination that's already in it. Like, we could leave the nuclear shit aside. I mean, it is beyond comprehension how this culture... This group of so-called scientists and people who are supposed to be working to help safeguard our population and help the little worker bees know when they're harming themselves. If they don't get paid, they're just going to not do jack shit, right? It's incomprehensible, and it is a crime against humanity. So, this is my little video shout-out. I really, 
hope that Helen Caldecott will see this. In fact, I'm going to send it to her. And uh, because I believe in Helen Caldecott, I think she is our best stalwart that we have. She's the most educated person I've seen in this, on this story. She's a no-nonsense kind of woman. She's been out there for 40 years building relationships, putting up with the bullshit of all these fucking males who have just, you know, basically, you know, it's really despicable what women have to go through in our culture. You know, we get it. The underlying current, men don't like women and they don't trust them and they don't think they're as smart as they are, but that's all bullshit. The condescension that Helen Caldecott's had to put up with is beyond belief. So, I get it while she's completely burnt out. She's over 80 now and like, fuck, she's given her life to stopping this monster and the rest of the population sat on their asses and agreed to be brainwashed, like me. You know, she was up in Hanford on April 15th, 2012. I didn't get to go see her because it was April 15th and I had to work. April 15th is the fucking filing deadline. I can't just leave my business on April 15th. You know, the fucking organizers of these bullshit protests and things, they just don't even think about people's lives. They just do it to, for their own convenience. And this is why it makes it impossible for people to get actively engaged. So this is just a shout out, and I am hoping that Helen Caldecott will actually reverse her stance. And, you know, I'm going to send her this, and I am going to ask her to really help me brainstorm. We have got to figure out a way to get a million people in the streets again. That's what we need to shut this fucker down and to make all the worlds realize that this is a worldwide catastrophe. We're on the brink of World War III, while on the edge of Japan, we don't need World War III. They're already killing us. With nuclear we don't need to be afraid of the nuclear because guess what's it's fucking here we're not getting out of it folks it, there's no making it going away it's not going away the best that we can do is learn how to manage it so John Watling you could do your own research but I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it and maybe somebody on my YouTube channel will t pick up that mantle do some research and help us figure out why these motherfuckers refuse to get involved Unless they get paid. That's what's the insulting part. Unless they get paid. This whole fucking event has cost me nothing but money. You know, my billing rate's $100 an hour. Do you, how many hours have I fucking put into this? How much money have I poured into the post-ignorance project? Shitloads. I'll tell you, way more than I can really afford. But you know why? Because we're talking about the fucking death of the planet. For fuck's sake. It's not about money. It's about our grandchildren. So I'm going to end here, and I hope that this actually will motivate somebody to help us find out why the people that say that they want to stop nuclear refuse to get involved unless they get paid. It's beautiful, eh? Put your courage feet on, you guys. Ciao.